Welcome everyone to race number 17 of the Cup Throwback Series. We're here at Chicagoland. Alexander Rowe and Colin Cropley are our front row starters. There's your full qualifying results and here's the race command. Alright, engines fired up. We are ready to race. Field is rolling. Looks like all 42 drivers are good. Okay, so Nicholas Jewitt, our new points leader, jumps up four spots and he has taken it away from Nick Hershey. Jewitt leads by seven points over Chapman, who remained in second. Rain Dancer has gained a spot, has moved up, now 14 points back. Nick Hershey dropped three positions, losing. Or, yeah, a lot of losing three spots, 24 points behind, so the lead isn't too big. There's a lot of drivers who are within or less than 100 points back, and even that's not that big of a margin. DJ Curtis lost two spots, he's fifth. Patrick Mew goes up five spots, he is sixth. Stephen Oaks remains in seventh, Ibrahim remains in eighth, Flair Main remains in ninth, and Ryan Thompson losing four, he is tenth. Actually, Ibrahim in game two, he is eighth. All right, here we go, getting ready to go green. Pace car is in. Green flag is out. We are underway here at Chicagoland. And a great start for the 41 of Alexander Rowe. Very wide. Oh, Bash Curtis and Noodles. They both go up into the wall off turn four. 21, I believe, just got turned. But a 22, right back in front of the pack. Almost had it saved, and we're under caution, anyways. All right, yellow is already out. We'll take a look at the replay. All right, let's take a look here. You can see there's the old one. The old one of Ash Curtis. Looks like he got into Kirsten Bracken. They walked up the racetrack. The 16 gets put on the wall. And that causes almost everyone to check up from behind. And then the 21 of Tim Randolph gets turned off the nose of Wilcox in the 22. Those guys really had to check up there. So through the grass he goes. So the yellow would have came out anyways. He does a 360. Looks he got it under control. But then he catches a right at the end. Of the pack collecting five other drivers Foxen, Michael Hoax, Lightning Blaze, Cheston, and Mitchell Hodek. 20 car, big hit there. He was the only car that didn't keep driving. Yeah, this car is toast. Rod right on board here with a Lightning Blaze. Almost had it saved. So Jimmy Fox had that 42 second uh, qualifying time also collected. Not too much damage. Brad Cheston, who's moved down to last. He's got a bit as well. Hodak probably got the least amount of damage from that crash. There's uh, Michael Hoax on a 24 involved in another accident. Season's almost over. He probably can't wait. All right, let's take you back to the restart. All right, here we go. So the 20 car. Of Lightning Blaze, the only driver out. So, only 41 drivers remaining on the racetrack here. Alexander Rowe, the 41 car, out in front. No wins for this 41 team. His teammates have been doing pretty well. But uh, the 41, however, has not. Here we go. Green flag is waving. We're back underway. Eight, 88 and 48 down to the bottom here the 
55. Oh, the 88 almost sideways. Oh, catches the 8 car. But they hang on to it. Chapman looking low. In a turn three. Drives it in there deep. He doors the 41, and that's one way to get the lead. And the caution is out again. 55, super aggressive. He doesn't have to be that aggressive. He's only seven back. So no need to take any unnecessary risk, and you don't want to make a rivalry when you're fighting for the championship. All right. Let's take a look at the replay. All right, so DJ Curtis in the 26. Uh, looks like the 15, Riley Sampson and Jordan Stewart got together. So DJ gets hooked. He goes around, well, not fully around. He was actually able to recover. Take a look at that again, but we're not done. There's more wrecking. So I think Jordan Stewart just came up, just trying to get to the outside line, but was not clear. Got to the left, that left side. And VG Curtis takes a hit. But as we continue on, Jordan Stewart in the 43. He's on the apron of the racetrack. He's going to come back up on the racing surface and collect the 83 and the 29 to get collecting both the wrecks now. Don't think there was anybody else though. Or, ooh, that was close. So, Jimmy Fox, and that might take him out. I think he's done. Stewart might be out too. Cheston, maybe. Actually, we should do the on board. So, we're on board, Jimmy Fox, and he's on the bottom. Hoping that 43 doesn't come up, but he does. And they get wiped out. Big hit to the outside wall. And here comes the 21. Look how close this was. Woo! Not even a scratch. That's impressive. Alright, let's take you back to the restart. Alright, here we go. So, Foxen is out and Stewart is out. 39 drivers remaining. DJ Curtis is a lap down. 38 drivers remaining are on the lead lap. Here we go. Pace car is in. Here we go, green flag is out, and a great restart for the 55. There's DJ starting right in the middle of the pack. Causing drivers to scramble. Five car. Well, it's looking low, but could not complete the pass. Had to lift as here comes Cropley to the inside into turn one. Side by side for third as Alexander Rose closed in on the 55. Let's see if he will pay him back. Here he comes. Might just keep it clean for now. He is taking it back. He'll lead that lap. Crossover. Chapman. Nope, couldn't do it. Cropley is now closing on the 55. As he moves to the inside, here comes, here's a rest. Got the top 10 drivers, top 15 as well. Here's Cole Sampson in the 42. Sampson is now just outside of the top 10. He lost it, losing three, looking to get it back. Looks like the 88 has moved up in a second. Chapman is dropping out of the top five. Now battling with Bracken and Bullet Ozcan. Oh. 
Colombier in the 88. Has had a rough season. His teammate Ibrahimen, however, is the complete opposite. At the moment, Bear has no top 5s to his name and only one top 10. Let's see if he can get it done today. Got some 3 wide racing back there. So far only 2 cautions, long green flag run we have. Will we get our third? Here's the back of the pack. There's our points leader, Nicholas Juit, in a really bad spot. Currently 34th. Here are the rest of the drivers. Some are not having a good run here. Three wide. Here's Hershey in a 45. I'm going to gain some of those spots back. Running in the mid, mid pack, 17th at the moment. Back to our race leaders. Here comes the 88. Bro took the outside line. And he'll take the lead. Three-way battle. Row to the inside. He wants it back. Side by side here. Ooh, careful now. No grip on the low side. Driver's basically sliding up. Here's a 48, Max Anderson. Anderson was gaining a lot of ground. He looked like he was going to be a strong one for at least a top 10. But the 48 team has dropped down to 17th. Oh, he's still got a handful of races to go. Not a lot of races, but they could still recover. Here comes the 41, back at it again, side by side, at the line. He led that lap. It was a close one. Crappie in the eight, fighting for second here. If we can hear someone with a slower traffic. We're catching up to them. Ten laps remaining. Ten laps to go. Looking inside here, the eight car Cropley. Now Bear is going to make that move. The car up ahead. You got two cars. It's Tim Randolph and DJ Curtis. They're running side by side at the moment. Later still got to deal with them. And here they come, I'm gonna put DJ Curtis two laps down here. To the inside on the slightly curved back straight away. Should be an easy pass as well as the 21. We'll keep him to the outside. Allowing all the lead lap drivers to go low. So that was perfect. For the race leader. Maybe not for Alexander Rowe. Well, he wanted the left car to slow them down, but he ended up making space for everybody. A few drivers getting held up, and Sam Curtis just turned DJ Curtis. Now bring up the yellow. Does a 360. Here they come to the stripe. Rowe will take it. Alright, let's take a look at the replay. So Sam Curtis takes out DJ Curtis, spins him out right off of turn two, wasted no time, just spun him around. It's a pretty simple spin out, no other contact, no other drivers were in it, and that was it. 
Alright, let's take you back. So, gonna be two to go when you take the green flag. Alexander Rowe in the 41 has been pretty strong. Has led most of the laps. Still searching for that first win in the cup. Cropley as well, Bear. So we got three drivers up here in the top five searching for their first win. Here they go, pace cars in. Green flag waving. Poor restart for the eight. Really poor. You don't want that with two laps to go. Here goes the 88 car. Someone's got to clear. So Bear is clear. Moves up to the top. Pulls back that 8 car. Going to get that run. He'll still look inside. White flag is out. One more lap to go. They're fighting for second here. Still a slight chance. Cropley regains his spot. But I don't think they can make it. Unless Rowe... Makes a mistake. Here they come into turn three. No, he's clear. Checkered flag is out. Alexander Rowe on the 41. He'll take the checkered flag. I think someone crashed. Yellow lights are waving. Yep. Got a wreck at the end. Once again. All right, let's take a look at the re uh, full race results first. All right, for the second race in a row, we had a crash coming to the line. Riley Sampson was three wide with the 24. Got the 21, so we know the lap down. And a pretty big hit there. 12 car nearly run to the back of Thompson at the end. But I think he was able to hang on to his spot. Trying to get one more spot for a 33rd. So this was a fight for 33rd. Michael Hoax wrecking again. Wrecked in the first one and wrecked in the last one. Tim Randolph gets swept in. And a Riley Sampson. Well, they were able to limp it across the line at least. So still able to finish. 24 gives that 15 and one more hit. And that was it for those guys. So here are your full race results. Alexander Rowe scores his first win of the season. Colin Cropley finishing second again. Cropley third. Uh, Colin Bear third. Max Anderson fourth. Chapman fifth. That'll give him back the lead. Bullet Osken sixth. Nick Wilcox seventh. Sam Curtis eighth. Bracken ninth. Os Sam and Oscan tenth. Here's the rest of the race results. The nine car had a tire problem, but he decided to retire there at the end, finishing 38th. So 30. So 38 cars finish the race, 36 on the lead lap. So a super clean Chicago land race. We usually don't get that here, but uh, yeah. So nothing other to add for that. You had three different leaders, had some battles, but overall very tame Chicago land race. I'll take you to victory lane now.